Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss about some of the basic security implementations in FCSAN, NAS and IPSAN environment. SAN security architecture. Traditional FCSANs enjoy a natural security advantage over IP based networks. An FCSAN is configured as an isolated private environment with fewer nodes than an IP network. Storage networking environments are a potential target for unauthorized access, theft and misuse because of the vastness and complexity of these environments. Therefore, Security strategies are based on the defense in-depth concepts which recommends multiple integrated layers of security. This ensures that the failure of one security control will not compromise the assets under protection. SAN not only suffer from certain risks and vulnerabilities that are unique but also share common security problems associated with physical security and remote administrative access. In addition to implementing SAN specific security measures, organizations must simultaneously leverage other security implementations in the enterprise. The diagram shows the various levels of a storage networking environment that must be secured and the security measures that can be deployed. The Turbo provides a comprehensive list of protection strategies that must be implemented in various security zones. Basic SAN security mechanisms include logical unit number masking and zoning, switch-wide and fabric-wide access control, role-based access control, and virtual SAN. NAS NAS is open to multiple exploits including viruses, worms, unauthorized access, snooping, and data tampering. Various security mechanisms are implemented in NAS to secure data and the storage networking infrastructure. Permissions and ACLs form the first level of protection to NAS resources by restricting access accessibility and sharing. These permissions are deployed over and above the default behaviors and attributes associated with files and folders. In addition, various other authentication and authorization mechanisms are implemented to verify the identity of network users and define their privileges. Similarly, firewalls are used to protect the storage infrastructure from unauthorized access and malicious attacks. The diagram shows the authentication process in a NAS environment. Authen authorization defines user privileges in a network. The authorization techniques for Unix users and Windows users are quite different. Unix files use more bits to define access rights granted to owners, groups and other users. whereas Windows uses an ACL to allow or deny specific rights to a particular user for a particular file. Although NAS devices support both of these methodologies for Unix and Windows users, complexities arise when Unix and Windows users access and share the same data. If the NAS device supports multiple protocols, the integrity of both permission methodologies must be maintained. IPSAN uh, 
the basic security mechanisms in IPSAN are challenge handshake authentication protocol and ISNS ISNS discovery domains. The challenge handshake authentication protocol is a basic authentication mechanism that has been widely adopted by network devices and hosts. It provides a method for initiators and targets to authenticate each other by utilizing a secret code or password. The secret is never exchanged directly over wire. Rather, a one-way hash function converts it into a hash value which is then exchanged. A hash function using the MD5 algorithm transforms data in such a way that the result is unique and cannot be changed back to its original form. The diagram shows securing IPSAN with CHAP authentication. If the initiator requires reverse CHAP authentication, the initiator authenticates the target by using the same procedure. The CHAP secret must be configured on the initiator and the target. The CHAP entry compromising the name of a node and the secret associated with the node is maintained by the target and the initiator. The same steps are executed in a two-way CHAP authentication scenario. After these steps are completed, the initiator authenticates the target. If both authentication steps succeed, then data access is allowed. CHAP is often used because it is a fairly simple protocol to implement and can be implemented across a number of disparate systems. ISNS discovery domains. It functions in the same way as FC zones. Discovery domains provide functional groupings of device in an IPSAN. In order for devices to communicate with one another, they must be configured in the same discovery domain. State change notifications tell the ISNS server when Devices are added or removed from a discovery domain. This diagram shows securing IPSAN with ISNS discovery domains.